All right, <clears throat> Shalom. First off and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakah, Kadash. I want to give double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule and teach well, being great example to Israel, pushing this truth to the Akim Akwat that's spread across the four corners of this earth. This is your brother, Yanar Allah, here to bring you this lesson. Called out with the old and in with the new, which is inspired <coughs> by Isaiah the 65th chapter. And I'm gonna get right into it and let the scriptures do the talking. This is Isaiah 65 and 17. For behold, I create new heavens and a new earth, and the former shall not be remembered nor come into mind. That's right. Verse 18. But be ye glad and rejoice forever in that which I create. For behold, I create Jerusalem a rejoicing and her people a joy. And right, and Jerusalem is a people before the place. And, and that people is the two-thirds who come back into their kingdom. Uh, after Yahweh Bashem Yahweh come back. And destroyed this place. Um, and to bag that up is uh Second Peter's the third chapter. Verse um I'ma start at thirteen. Nevertheless, we according to his promise. Look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. Verse 14. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent. And that's right. That's what the elders and apostles of Great Millstone teach us in this time. Be diligent. We have to be diligent. Getting back to it. Be diligent that ye may be found. Of him in peace without spot and blameless. And that's what time we coming in. We gotta follow the law, statute, commandments that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh has set up for us at this time to receive the new heavens and the new earth. Or are we gonna be cast out with the old heaven and the old earth? That's why that's why I say in verse 14. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace without spot and blamelessness. Why? I'm going to go up a little bit. Um, Verse 10. Why you want to be found verse spotless and blameless? This verse right here in Spain. Verse 10. But the day of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai will come so like it will come as a thief in the night and that in thee which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise and the elements shall melt with fervent heat the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up you see verse 11 seeing that then seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. What manner of persons ought you to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Right. And that's right. That's what we're supposed to be. What manner of person we supposed to be in all holy, in all holy conversation and godliness? That's what we're supposed to be doing. We're supposed to be meditating. And breaking down these scriptures to the lost sheep of the house of the Israel, which is ultimately the Great Commission. Found in um Matthew. I can't believe I can't um think of the um the chapter right off my head, but I know it's in the book of Matthew, the Great Commission. And that's what we do. We go out on the highways and byways, push this truth, you know, try to try to follow the Heavenly Father will to the best of our ability because like verse 13 said nevertheless we according to his promise 
we that we is Israel look for a new heavens and a new earth wherein dwell the righteousness. Right. Where do it righteousness? Cause the time we living in, man, it's unrighteous. It's overwhelm it's overwhelmingly over righteous. I mean Salaki. So like it. It's overwhelming unrighteousness in the in this time right now. It's very wicked time right now. Um in the time you have about Shimmy Hawa Shah is gonna be a terrible time. But yeah, let me get there then. Isaiah um think sixty six. Isaiah 66 and uh, Salakia. Salakia. Uh, Okay, this is um Isaiah 66 and 22. For as the new heavens and the new earth which I will make shall remain before me, saith Yahweh by Shemi Shah. So shall your seed and your name remain. Right. And it's going back to the elect one third and the two third. That was that was destroyed on this side, but on the other side in the kingdom, they're gonna be brought back in righteousness. Because what the scriptures say, um, uh, I will not um utterly destroy Israel, roughly paraphrasing. So back to um verse twenty two, for the new heavens and the new earth which I will make shall remain before me, saith Yahweh by Shem Yahweh So said your so shall your seed and your name remain. And it shall come to pass that from one moon, from one new moon to another, and from one Sabbath to another, shall all flesh come to worship before me, saith Yahweh. And they shall go forth and look upon the carcass of men that have transgressed against me, for they war for, for their worm shall not die, neither shall their fire be quenched. And they shall be abhorring unto all flesh. That's right. Because when Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah come back to ultimately create his new heavens, new earth, he's going to have to destroy the old heaven and the old earth. And that's going to be a terrible time when, when, when he's, when, when, like the title I entitled, Out with the Old, In with the New. When he's putting out that old earth, it's going to be a terrible time. If Jacob Trouble, hey, it's going to be unimaginable. Like I said, it's going to be it's going to be carcass of men lying in the street with, with maggots and worms that shall not die. Neither shall their fire be quenched like, man, they're going to be burning forever, man. It's going to be like they got kerosene on them. <laughs> and I mean, and I mean, hey, it's just unimaginable. It's just unimaginable, man. But back to the scriptures. I'm gonna get this last scripture, last precept. And um Second Peter, I mean Revelations. Sorry you got Second Peter's. Revelations uh twenty-one. Yeah, twenty-one. And this is John the Revelator. <clears throat> you have a shot brother. And he got to see the vision of the new heaven and new earth where it dwells righteousness. All right, this is Revelation 21 and 1. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. See? I'm going to have to read that one more time. Revelation 21 and 1. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away. See? That goes back to the uh, Isaiah 65. And the old earth would not be remembered. And the old heaven and earth would not be remembered. Hey, it's going to be passed away. You know, it's going to be like when someone died, you know. I mean, you you know they did. You know they did, but it really don't come back to your remembrance 
let somebody talk to her unless you really upon her about it. But at that moment when New Heaven and New Earth come, man, we ain't even gonna think about the old earth. We ain't gonna think about the old heaven. Man, everything's gonna be new. Everything's gonna be new. We're gonna be in power. The other nations gonna be up under us. You know, our women gonna be uh, subject to us. You know, our children gonna be uh, in righteousness. You know, they not gonna be no damn bastards. They not gonna be fatherless. We not gonna be fatherless because you how about Shem how shot is gonna dwell on earth. Verse, uh, let me finish in verse one, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem. And Jerusalem is a, a is a people before it's a place. Coming down from Yahweh by Shem Shai out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And that's right, man. Hey, hey, it's going to be beautiful, man. That new heaven, new earth is going to be beautiful, man, when we're making it. You know? When we're, when we're establishing everything we have by Shem Shai, give us the power, you know, to establish everything in his will. You know, and 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 the leg and one third coming down. You know, from those chariots. You know, putting the, putting the earth back in order with Yahweh by Shimmy have a shot. You know, and it's gonna be prepared as a bride, uh, ordained for her husband, and that's beautiful. If you ever seen like a wedding, one of those weddings, you know how Eastside got the wedding set up. Well, you see one of those weddings, how the, how the um, bride come down the aisle with a veil over her face, you know? And, and that's kind of spiritual too, you know? Because they veil over eyes too, you know? Hey, 